Welcome back to What Are Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a T28E with the F-30 gun. It's a Tier 4 Soviet Premium Medium and it's located on the north spawn of Pilsen under the command of Ramtov of Philo. Now, there's something rather special about this tank. It's got an 85mm gun and it's capable of doing considerable damage to the enemy. It can do 160 alpha and penetrate up to 120 millimeters of ammunition of armor. But better than that, with the AP round, it can do 280 alpha and penetrate up to 43 millimeters. And when you remember, this is a tier 4 tank, the tanks it's up against have uh, very low armor. So there's a good chance he might be able to one shot a few of the enemy. Well, we spotted one of the enemy already, it's a PT-15, and he's found some more. Fires around him, but unfortunately doesn't penetrate, doesn't hit the target. It's a 14 TP Polish tank, and they've got relatively low armour. Okay, he's going to try and side scrape out. Go for a shot. Oh, no, there's an enemy tank there. Pulling back, made the right decision. Did take a few hits from that Panzer 2J and also one hit from the Stuart. But he's lining up on that corner, getting ready his 85mm. Misses with the first shot. And the Panzer 2J is having difficulty penetrating, but he didn't have difficulty hitting the Panzer 2J there. And he's taking him out of the game. Good shot. Oh, now he's bouncing around some of the Stuart. And that was naughty round. Just missed him. Well, there's an Assal 42, which is a French tank destroyer. Is it a tank destroyer? No, it's a, a French medium. And there's a Stuart. 1-4, which is obviously the British Stuart. Can you get shots? There he is. Filing in. Oh, no. That's it. That's better. Much better. One shot and he's gone. Now, can he do the same to the T10TP? Getting ready. Just a bit further forward, please. That's it. Thank you. 147 hit points. <laughs> now, there's a 10 TP there and a Sol just behind there, but he can't hit the Sol. Line up the shot. That's it. Wait for the enemy to come out. Well, it looks like the enemy doesn't want to come out to play. Nope. Oh, and they do appear just after we pull back. No, I think they're being spotted from elsewhere, from a different direction. Might be a good idea to go round. There's a Panzer B2 just around the corner as well. There's the 10 TP. He just exposed the rear of his vehicle. Oh, and there's the 14 TP. He's firing at us. Oh, we got one round into him for 180. Now, can we get the kill shot? As he pulls back. Oh, there's a Sav M43 over there. Line up a shot. Oh, he hits us for 110. We do get a hit into him. But it's only a tracking shot. Get another one bounced around there. The armor on the uh, T28E is actually slightly better than on a standard T28. Um, the extra armor helps uh, bounce some of these machine guns fire. Normally those would go straight through on the standard T28. But uh, that's one of the things that makes this uh, engine a bit sluggish. 
It's got a 500 horsepower engine, just like the original T28, but it's just a bit slower. Okay, T this uh, B2 doesn't seem to realise he's a one-shot now. Locked on, and he's out the game. We did take a round, though, two rounds. Now, can we get rid of that soul? Side scrape the corner, the soul's gone. There's only four enemies left. So it's everyone for themselves to try and get the last enemy. Okay, the bison over there, the arty. He's taking fire and he's gone. There's only three enemy left and there's one of them, the UE-57. Okay, can we get a shot from here? Yes, we can. I don't think he can see us, but we can see him. Round out, yep. Can we get another shot in? No, he's not gonna fire. Now, the UE-57 is very difficult to see at the best of times, but he was spotted there for a brief moment. It's quite a dangerous little uh, tank destroyer, that, but he's only one or two left. The Panzer 1C is up the other end of the map, and it looks like he's going after our Rati. And an AFK Panzer 38 NA. No, we can't see that, uh, Yui. Well, probably best just to drive straight in. No, not a good idea to go to the cap. Not whilst he's around. Oh well. He's going to hide behind this rubble. He's such a small tank destroyer, you see, it's very difficult to see until they, you start feeling the shells hit you. I know that from bitter experience. <laughs> well, he's going to force that UE to come to him. He's the last enemy alive. The Panzer 30 S35 is also watching. Grand Tough has 1,069 hit points of damage so far recorded. And the S35 is going in to have a look, see where he is. Oh, and he's got taken out. There is the UE-57. They line up a shot. Yes, one shot in, and that's it. That's all that's needed. We've won the game. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's a first-class tanker for Ramtuff in the T-28E with the F-30 gun. He also picked up a fire for effect, a duelist, a bruiser medal, a fighter badge, a shell proof and a hand of God for surviving the battle, having received damage from four different enemy tanks. He got a cool headed for surviving at least 10 ricochets or non-penetrating rounds. And most of those were actually fired by the uh, Panzer 2J, 32 bounces from him. Uh, he also picked up the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle and a steel wall for blocking the most damage in the battle. Let's have a look at team score. Well, we can see that the uh, total damage was 1,219 hit points of damage there. The next high score was T56 GMC, 671. And after that, it was the looks with 587. If we look at the number of kills, it was uh, Ramtaf and the S35 both shared four kills apiece. Uh, then we've got the T-56 GMC and the Saar 42 with three kills. Uh, but when you came to base XP, it was the T-28E with the F-30 who got um, 867. And then the S-35 got 576. And finally, we've got the T-56 GMC with 501. So Ramtuff did get uh, top in, well, basically top in all three columns, you could say. Because uh, after all, he did get four kills, which puts him at the top of that column. So... Very good then. Let's have a look at detail report. He fired 15 rounds during that game. He got 11 direct hits, 10 penetration, and 
damage of 1,219 hit points, of which 146 were at more than 300 meters. You received 44 hits during that game, 6 were penetrations, 38 non-penetrations, and I think that was because the Panzer 2J was firing standard AP ammunition, couldn't penetrate the armor on the uh, T-20KT. Uh, he blocked damage of 819 hit points in that game, spotted three enemy vehicles, damaged seven of the enemy, killed four of them, and did damage assistance of 223 hit points. He managed to get 62 capture points while he was sitting in the cap, and he earned 41,580 credits on a, a premium count, 4,158 for completing the mission and events, and after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 42,767 credits. He received two bonds for getting the high caliber and also for getting the steel wall, and he also picked up 1,300 XP times two for the first victory, 651 for this being a premium vehicle, took away 3,252 experience points altogether. So it's a huge amount of, as he says, a boatload of stuff. It certainly is. And this was the first first class tanker that Ramtuff's had in this vehicle. Uh, the, the one thing, actually, though, I would say is uh, um, just, uh, you know, to as a friendly bit of advice to Ramtuff, if you've got only one enemy left and it's like that UE-57, the best thing to do is actually to approach him from an angle that he's not really expecting. So uh, it might have been easier, rather than going into the cap and forcing him to come to you, actually going around the enemy and attacking him from a different angle so he's got no protection. You've got a very good win 8 on that, 6485, which is super unicum level. Um, it's just those UEs can be very, very deadly. And I know because I've played them and I know that uh, you've probably played them as well. They are just so small, so difficult to see, and they pack a very big punch with that gun. So very dangerous if you uh, go into a cap and you can't see one because then they'll keep resetting you uh, whilst you're capping. Or at least they can if they can get around and shoot you from a different angle. But it all worked out OK in the end. And congratulations on getting such a large number of medals. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.